everyone, it's me, Jeff here, and if you're a Neil Morse fan, you probably already know about this, but if you're not, don't let this one skip by you. The new Neil Morse and the Resonance album dropped recently, and mine came in, and I pre-ordered it months ago. So, if you're familiar with Neil Morse, you probably heard about it. If you're not familiar with Neil Morse, shame on you. One of the prog masters of our generation, and of course, you know, if you don't know much about him at all, you should be in Spock's Beard, another prog band that brought back... The excellence of prog back in the like 90s with Spock's beard. He's done a lot of stuff with Transatlantic and everything, but he does a lot of solo stuff. This is his newest album, and it is a little different. It's not Neil Morse by himself. It's not the Neil Morse band, which has been putting out amazing stuff year after year. This is a, hey, I'm going to get together with some local talent, young people, that uh, he's and he's played with them before for like Christmas concerts and stuff like that at his church and other things like that. So he knew who these guys were, but he got together with them and said, "Let's do a project," and to get some input from a younger generation. These guys are you know younger guys, and he he says that they really brought stuff to the table that he would have never thought about you know in his many years of of work. And so it has a different feel. Neil does sing on it, but not all the way through. There are some other vocalists. There's a lot of other things. It's got some a lot of prog elements. There are a couple very long songs on the album. But then for the most part, it's it's got a very more commercial appeal in some ways. Um, I think at times it's a it it's it's overall tends to be a little more on the mellower melodic side. It's got some radical parts, but it's not like one of those radical time change prog albums all the way through that's you know it it, it it tends to go more on the uh a lot of melodies and a lot of a lot of harmonies and things along that line and it it, it kind of maintains a little more of a laid back feel at times i would say overall with some elements in there that are are good um let's see it's a double record set of course because they write long songs and you can see here of course, I pre-ordered mine, and I was one of the early orders, so of course mine's autographed there, as is a lot of the Neil Moore stuff. Though, like I said, nowadays you, you pay more for the autographed stuff. This was a package deal where I got that, and, well, I didn't get this with it, but I bought this separate. This is the CD version, of course. And this is the Deluxe Edition, which I didn't even read up on what it was. I just bought it. Turns out the Deluxe Edition is the entire album, and then the second disc is the entire album instrumental. Uh give it or you know take it or leave it i could have bought the regular but i don't even think i paid attention ended up being autographed also the package deal was the new album on vinyl and then the new neil morse morse fest 2023 set which is the neil morse band from the 2023 morse uh morse fest and it is a seven disc set it's got five cds and two blu-rays Ugh of the events and so what this particular set was is neil plays his testimony one and testimony two albums in their entirety uh back to back uh, one on night one and then one on night two so it's two nights of morse fest from last year so i buy all of these this is the third or fourth one i've got all the neil morse all the morse fest releases but the past couple uh 19 and 20 and 22 was transatlantic, so that was a little different. But most of them have been coming in these packages like this with the multi-discs laid out like they are. So, have multiple different versions. I think they're right over there, but I didn't pull them. So yeah, you can see it is chocked full of music. Just hours and hours and hours of stuff. So, this and the album were the combo. And then I threw in the CD because I'm just one of those fans that has to have it in both formats. And yeah, I'm excited. I've been enjoying it, been listening to it, and it's great stuff. If you're into anything Neil Morse, you definitely don't want to miss this one. If you're questionable, go online and check it out. They have some videos, and again, it's not the typical Neil Morse stuff, but it's not far off. But it's great. I like it. Anyway, check it out, and I'll see you later. Rock on and rock hard.